Unless you've been living under a rock for the past week, chances are you've heard about The Slap. Even those who didn't watch the Oscars last Sunday night are caught up with the news. Many celebrities, regardless of whether they witnessed the alarming incident in person, have given their two cents about it. First up, what went down at the 2022 Oscars? Just minutes before he won the Oscar for Best Actor for his role in King Richard, Will Smith confronted presenter Chris Rock on the stage and slapped him right across the face as the crowd watched. Will reacted violently in response to a joke the comedian made about his wife, Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved head. The comedian made the follow-up quip, Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Now, even though Chris Rock may not have been aware of it, Jada has spoken publicly and regularly about her hair loss due to alopecia. As the camera cut to the Smiths to catch their reaction after the joke, Will seemed to laugh at Chris's joke while Jada smiled politely and rolled her eyes. Though it initially seemed as if Will was fine with the joke, he stormed onto the stage and slapped the 57-year-old Chris Rock. As Will walked back to his seat, Chris said to the audience, Wow, Will Smith just smacked the a** out of me. Will, meanwhile, yelled, Keep my wife's name out of your a** mouth. He repeated the same thing, but louder, when Chris attempted to defend himself by saying that it was just a G.I. Jane joke. Now let's talk about Will Smith's reaction. Just a few minutes after the incident, Will Smith was presented with an Oscar for Best Actor. As he made his speech, he referenced Richard Williams, the man he was playing in the movie he won an Oscar for, calling him a fierce defender of his family. He touched upon the altercation that had occurred a few minutes ago, relating his behavior to that of Venus and Serena Williams' father, stating that he had been reacting acting to the disrespect he and his family had been subjected to. He went on to apologize to the Academy and other nominees, but did not directly address Chris Rock at the time. He ended the note with, Love will make you do crazy things. On March 28th, the day after the incident, Will wrote a lengthy statement via Instagram where he apologized to Chris and admitted that he had been wrong. Another day later, he announced that he was resigning from the Academy. Next, the actors at the event react. Lupita Nyango, who was seated right behind Will Smith, was caught on camera and her reaction to the slap has gone viral as well. When the actor returned to his seat and warned Chris to keep Jada's name out of his mouth, her reaction could clearly be seen to be one of shock and disbelief. Her mouth hung open in a perfect O and has since been memed all across social media. Nicole Kidman's and Serena Williams' shocked expressions were also caught on tape. Actor Lakeith Stanfield was asked about the incident, to which he responded that it was crazy and surreal. Following the incident, Bradley Cooper, Denzel Washington, and Tyler Perry were all seen talking to Will, apparently comforting him. Questlove, the man who took the stage immediately after the slap for winning an Oscar for his film Summer of Soul, refused to address the slap then or later. He was asked about the mood in the room when he went to receive his award, but said that he was going to stay focused on the documentary he was there to represent and nothing else. But it didn't take long for news of the event to spread and soon enough, everybody had something to say about it. Next, the celebrities take to Twitter. Actress and model Jody Turner Smith tweeted that she was still processing what she referred to as the incident and that she was still recovering from the secondhand embarrassment. Will's own son, Jaden Smith, tweeted, and that's how we do it. While that could possibly be about anything, it came right after the incident, so we're pretty sure it wasn't about anything else. Tiffany Haddish seemed impressed with Will's actions. She stated that it meant the world to her to see a black man take a stand for his wife, especially since she had been unprotected for so much of her life. She was appreciative of the fact that there seemed to be men out there who were willing to protect their wives the way Will did. Others went the other way. Judd Apatow, for example, took an extreme stance from the other end, stating that the slap could have killed Rock. The director was criticized by many for her over-the-top, unasked-for opinion on the matter. Twitter wasn't the only place going insane. There's so much more. Next, the slap heard around the world. A day later, the entire world had heard about the incident. Actors who had been present at the award show had had time to reflect on the incident and give their thoughts on it. Schumer wrote that she was extremely traumatized and triggered. She lauded Chris Rock for handling the unprecedented incident like an absolute pro, while expressing her disappointment in Will Smith for his actions. Zoe Kravitz posted a picture on Instagram, which she captioned with a subtle shade thrown at Will Smith. She had rapidly become one of the most loved actors following the release of the latest Batman movie, but this one 
post had people turning against her. Wanda Sykes, one of the hosts of the show, talked about the experience on Ellen. Though she didn't see the actual slap, she did get back in time to hear Will yelling at Chris from his seat. She told Ellen that she felt awful for Chris and sickened by Will's actions. She also talked about how she had been left traumatized by the night and expressed her shock at the fact that Will had been permitted to not only remain in the building after the assault, but also to receive an award. Wanda also seemed to be offended by the fact that he had neglected to apologize to her and her fellow hosts who had spent days preparing for the event, only to be overshadowed by his unjustifiable aggression. Bill Maher addressed the slap on an episode of Real Time with Bill Maher that aired on the 1st of April. He started off by saying that he had Will Smith's back, but immediately followed that with, April Fools, you're a d he also talked about how Jada's medical condition was not exactly serious enough to warrant that reaction. Was it really that big of a deal? Celebrities like Michael Bay and Daniel Radcliffe seem to be less phased by the incident. Michael Bay, director of Bad Boys, confessed to thinking that the slap was a bit at first. When he found out that it wasn't, he talked about how he, the will that he saw on stage was not the will he knew from the set. He condemned his actions, but noted that there was much bigger and more important issues in the world. He talked about how this incident was a great example example of how self-absorbed Hollywood is. For people to be getting blown up in Ukraine, but the world chooses to obsess over a celebrity slapping another celebrity? Unbelievable. Daniel Radcliffe expressed his boredom with the news that had taken over social media and seemed disinterested. Other actors like Rachel Zegler kept their opinions to themselves, stating that they felt like it was none of their business. Still, other celebrities like Lamar Odom took the opportunity to make the whole thing about themselves. He said that while he did not condone violence, if like Will, he had chosen to defend his ex-wife, Khloe Kardashian, he might still be married. Next up, comedians in danger? Some comedians talked about how they felt that Will had just set a dangerous precedent. Cheryl Underwood, for example, expressed her apprehension at getting on a stage after that incident. She talked about how since most people attending her shows would be drunk by the third act, they might just think it was okay to get up and assault her for a joke they didn't like. Tim Allen also criticized Will Smith for his actions, stating that that kind of behavior had no place in comedy clubs, concert halls, or award shows. He also sent love and support to Chris for being able to carry on after the incident. Joy Bayer also discussed the impact that Will's actions could potentially have for comedians who make a living out of slightly edgy humor. Stephen Colbert chimed in as well, stating that it is never okay to punch a comedian, and if Will had really wanted to hurt Chris, he should have just not laughed. That would have hurt way more. Now let's talk about how the slap over Shadow's big first wins. Joseph Patel, the producer of Summer of Soul, came at Will Smith and Chris Rock for overshadowing what was supposed to be an exciting moment for him. While presenting the award after the slap, Chris said that it was going to Quest Love and Four White Guys, even though it was actually being given to Patel, Robert Fivalent, and David Dinerstein, only the latter two of whom are white. Patel, as one of the first few South Asians to ever have won an Oscar, was infuriated to have that taken away from him. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar also wrote about the incident, criticizing Will for advocating violence, insulting the entertainment industry, diminishing women, and perpetuating negative stereotypes about the black community. There's probably loads more of other reactions that we may have missed. Whether the slap was justified or not is a whole other video. Unfortunately, that's all we have for you guys today. Thanks for watching.